The Uso Penitentiary is now open for business. Our officer, Jey Uso, is on duty. Byron, we'll meet in the yard later. Jey Uso is so explosive in the ring, guys. He can hit you with a splash, slap on a devastating submission, or start a super kick party. While well, he's dished out a few hangovers with his brother, Jey Uso, he's more than capable of throwing a super kick party all by himself. Beautiful technique. Stay right where he is. DDT! Jay about to attempt the big splash. Is he done? He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? on the mat. And it's The Miz able to stop the count. Not even close. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. The Miz looking a little stunned here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. We saw the best female and male competitors in WWE fight side by side during the Mixed Match Challenge, but one duo emerged from the 12-team competition as the inaugural winners. The team of the Miz and Asuka, also known as Team Asuka. Two. Bringing it back into the ring. Draped on the apron. Oh, nasty impact. Michael mentioned the Miz and Asuka's success on the Mixed Match Challenge. But can we clarify things a bit? Most of that tournament was The Miz getting out of the way as Asuka continued her domination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Most isn't all, Saxton. Don't you dare forget that The Miz scored a pinball victory against Bobby Roode in the finals. That made... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And it's The Miz able to stop the count too soon. for the finish. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Up against the barrier now. I think that barrier might be the only thing holding him up. I think you're right. And he's heading back in. Down with the Samoan drop. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. You guys see that? These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Here we go. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Oof, shit, finds it. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. He'd be smart to stay put there. Nice monkey flip. Jimmy Uso is showboating. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. He's looking at it. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there.
Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Right to the heart. He's playing with him now. He wants no part of this. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. The team needs to have a tag. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. ago you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history don't forget about the 3d from the dudley boys or the we've got a cover looking to catch him off guard there i guess shane mcmahon right on the money with that kick out shane's got a lot of fight yeah he's running hot right now but we'll see if he can oh, this is devastating single leg boston crab i knew it was only a matter of time He's not done just yet, Michael. One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has proven to be one of the most fair and balanced leaders. Tag is made. Parker going up top. Uh-oh! Oh, oh, man, what a splash. Incredible. He's got him covered. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. Now, that's an impressive tag team victory. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here are your winners, Jay Uso and Jimmy. Big win here in tag team action tonight. Hey, this isn't just about going out there and making sure everybody's entertained. You've got to win your matches. And that's exactly what happened here. A will to win was on display. Columbus has played host to some amazing matches over the years, including this one.